to Quick Bites. In the world here making five star dishes in a cooking simulator. Today we are going to try to tackle the corn chowder. Now this one's a little difficult just because of the cutting of items. But let's see if we can't find a simpler way to get this all done. So to start you're going to take two potatoes, an onion, and a carrot. Or two carrots I should say. And you're going to drizzle 15 milliliters of clarified butter onto that. You're going to chop them up into pieces. Now, I went ahead and I chopped everything up. As you can see, we have two potatoes here. I have two carrots. There's a carrot on the floor. I can get rid of that. because it, Ooh, no, we needed that. Ooh, ooh. Let's see if we can't cut one up real quick. And I can at least show you how to do it... Uh, somewhat easily. So these are 14 gram pieces. I usually just try to eyeball it and see what comes out. There's a 12, there's a 15, there's a 14. So perfect. Just the piece we need. Even better than before. It worked out fine. And we have our onion chopped up. Now, I didn't drizzle these with clarified butter first because to get the right amount of pieces, I had to go through and cut these quite a few times. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pieces and we're going to drizzle the clarified butter on top of that. Because that should still work, hopefully. And if not, we'll find out too. We need 15. In fact, why don't we just measure out 15 here? Get plenty of bowls. This is how the professionals do it. That way, if you have too much in there, you can always taste it. It tastes like butter. Into this, you'll now drizzle on. You can go into the advanced tools or the advanced controls. Uh, see where that little red dot is spinning? I think we that counts it's yeah it's got some of it on there some of it's on the counter we're going with it and we'll see what happens of course we're just testing what we're seeing how we can do this perfectly but without it being a terrible experience so I've got a few things set over here let's get the big pot set by all of this needs to fry in the pan for 30 seconds we're gonna grab our pan Gonna scoop up all this stuff and yeah nothing goes in with it we're just going to set the timer and let that cook for 30 seconds so nothing is completely cooked all the way which is kind of interesting we're going to bump this back down to um, 700 milliliters of course you know taking little sips of the chicken broth kind of gross but in this line of work you got to cook things right we got the chicken broth in there we need 18 grams of thyme I know we need a lot of time here to get this done properly we'll measure that out followed by I think it was 12 grams of salt and 12 grams of pepper more and finally our pepper. Let's get that in here. Quite a bit of seasoning, but it is a big pot. Now I'm going to follow the you know items listed. You go potatoes, onions, and then carrots into the pot. That way everything is stacked in such a way that it'll hopefully all cook properly. Finally, the carrots. I pick this up a couple times, let things settle. All right, this now comes to a boil for 20 seconds. Go and do that now. Obviously, with the corn on the cob, I did already cut those up. We have 100 gram pieces into 30 gram pieces. That should be good to go. When the time is ready, we're almost almost ready to go 17 that is 20 seconds on the heat 
Well, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Um, similar to what I did last episode, or a couple episodes, I forget now. <laughs> we're going to uh, just put our sour cream in another pot, and I'm going to use the ladle to get the exact 100 milliliters in. Um, that way there's no issue or any um, guessing work with pouring. We've came this far, no need to mess it up going forward. The sour cream is in the pot. Let's put the corn and the cob on. And that boils for another hundred seconds. Oh boy. Hopefully this all cooks properly. We're going to find out pretty quick here. Doesn't look like all of the corn is submerged. But as long as some of it is good, we should be fine. So 100 seconds. We'll be back when that's taken care of. All right, so we're we're about 10 seconds out of the one, the hundred seconds. As you can see, the corn and the soup is going to finish together. We're going to let that both finish and cut the heat. So it looks like everything should be good to go. I might just flash that real quick. All right, so everything should be finished. Now to serving. Each bowl we need to put in. 250 milliliters of soup, 60 grams of corn, and 75 grams of potatoes. So we're, we're going to have to get a little um, creative with our ladling. We're going to do one big ladle and then two small ones. That should get us the 250 milliliters exact. Alright, so that's in. Next we need 60 grams of corn. I do recall having a couple 30 gram pieces, so we should be able to hit that exact. As for the potatoes are burnt, you can see they got overcooked this process. Not perfect, but I, I don't see how you don't burn it. So we're going to need, um, yeah, we need three of those 25 gram pieces. I'll take a 26 and a 24. That's close enough. I'm surprised it's not an issue with it. Yeah, the potatoes are clearly burnt. Not even close to being fine. Uh, no garnishing for this. It, we just have to serve it hot. So I think everything's here. Let's get it out. Will we get our five stars on this dish? That is the question. Ooh, perfect. Five stars. With all that cutting work, I am definitely happy. So it does say there wasn't enough clarified butter. It was the drizzle job. We didn't do that perfectly. We actually didn't do it in order. Um, if we jump back over to the, to the menu item itself, if we take a look, I want you to, in the full state, the potato, the onion, and the carrot, I want you to drizzle it on and then chop it up. Honestly, it's so difficult to get these proportions close, or if not exact, that trying to drizzle on first and then cut them up just wasn't realistic. And there's really not a good way to gauge that, you know, how much drizzles onto each piece. That's probably why we, we still didn't get dinged any point of the star or any portion of it. We got the full five on everything. So hopefully this helps you in your cooking career going through the campaign or just playing along. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if you're struggling with any dishes. Uh, we'll try to take a look at that in future episodes. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'd like to simulate my life a game at a time. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates to future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch as I try to stream three days a week. Thanks, and I'll see you next time at Dim the World.